Floss Tube. This is Nancy Quilting Stitcher. Um, it's October 14th and Saturday. Um, you probably won't see this till October 15th. I do my down, my uploading to YouTube um, at night while I'm sleeping because it takes like six to eight hours. So I, um, so yeah, it'll probably be the October 15th by the time you see this. Can't believe this month is half over already. It just seems like it was the first. Anyway. Um, so I've had, someone's made a comment that I have these black lines on the side of me, and so I'm trying my phone, turning my phone a different way, so hopefully they, they won't have the black lines. If they do, then I'm going to have to have my daughter come over and just help me figure this out, because I, I'm not that tech of a person. Um, anyway, so my last video was only like four days ago, but... I've had four days off of work, which never happens, in a, in a row anyway, and so I've I've actually got a lot of stuff done. They've been calling me to work, and I've been like, no, I've got to get stuff done at my house, and yeah, I could work every day if, they would let me work every day. I mean, they would let me work every day if I wanted to. I don't want to. Obviously, when I have a day off, I want a day off. Anyway, so I've, I've been actually working on some things. Um, like I said, I'm not a techie person, and one of the things that um, <laughs> I've learned, <laughs> and I'm so proud of myself, um, so I have a, my sewing room, and it has my sewing machine, and my and my ironing station, and everything up in there, because I'm a quilter, and so when I'm in there, I quilt, and I have a TV in there, but it's not hooked up to my satellite or anything, I just have... Um, I do stream Netflix and Amazon Prime in there, and I thought, oh, I was in there. Well, I was in there the other day quilting, and I thought, I wonder if I could get YouTube on there. <laughs> guess what? I did it all by myself. I sent a text to my daughter saying, "Hey, guess what? I did something techie, and I didn't have to call you." Anyway, so I put YouTube on that TV in there, so I can watch Floss Tube while I'm quilting. But I quickly learned that I cannot watch Floss Tube when I'm quilting because then I mess up on my quilting. I guess I'm too distracted. So it's best just, I guess, put a movie on that I kind of just kind of pay attention to. Because Floss Tube I really want to pay attention to. Anyway, so I was, because I'm a quilter, I told you that I will, I'll keep this 99% stitching because it is Floss Tube. But... Once in a while, I'll throw in a quilt or something. But anyway, I was hoping to get this quilt done these, on these four days I was off. Because I was actually had all the blocks done. I just got to assemble the quilt itself. Because I want to get it to the quilters. They, they're they about, at this time of the year, they're about eight weeks out. So if I get it in there now, I'll get it probably just before Christmas. Which, it's no big deal because it's not a Christmas present. It's just a quilt. I had made a quilt top. I had these this fabric left over, it just scraps the fabric, and I thought, I'm just going to make a lap quilt that I can just throw over the back of the couch and over sit and watch TV or whatever, you can cover up with it. Anyway, so, it, I just wanted to show you, because I sewn this together, the last row, I sewed, sewed on wrong twice. The third time was a charm. It took me three times to get the sewed on correctly. But, um, and I, I decided that I can't watch Floss Tube while I'm quilting because I'm too distracted. But I just wanted to show you what I was working on. Anyway, this is four rows. Oh, four rows of nine. So I got four, five more rows. But it's really cute. It's got little bears and beehives and little bear paws. Anyway, it's just, it's, it's cute. And it's just going to be little. And like I said, it's just a scrap quilt. It's not going to be for anybody. I actually don't even give my quilts away. I keep them. And that's going to be my legacy to my kids when I die. My, my quilts and my cross stitch. So, while I've been off, um, Thursday we went to the pumpkin patch. I took the grandkids to the pumpkin patch. Thursday after school. And then we went to um, and had pizza for dinner afterwards. So that was fun. It's kind of an annual thing that we do. I think we've been doing it for like eight years now. Well, my oldest granddaughter... She's nine, so, yeah, we've been doing it for eight, seven or eight years, I can't remember. Anyway, they were just, they were little when we started. So we did that, and Wednesday and Friday, Wednesday I didn't even leave my house. I, can't, I don't even think I left my house yesterday. I did, I actually did, when my husband got home. We did go to the grocery store, but, so I'm going to show you what I finished. 
finish this. Isn't that cute? I am, this, I took this idea from Priscilla and Chelsea. They have such cute ideas, so I steal all their ideas. I screenshot them. Because I go on, I see their blog or whatever. And I'll take pictures or save them or whatever onto my computer so I can kind of steal their ideas. But this is cute. So anyway, it's got a magnet on it. A piece of sheet metal on the back. My husband cut. I think I bought a piece of sheet metal that was like 24 inches by 8 inches or 12 inches, something like that. For like 8 bucks at the hardware store. So I just glued it on. This is November. Yeah, it's not even straight. This is, um, these are Hands-On Designs chalkboard series. One for every month. This one's November. And we'll change it out. It's like October. This is actually the one I've got displayed now, anyway. And then this is, it just sits in my hutch. And I'm not, I am so not a decorator. So to decorate these frames and that, it's actually just held on there with wire so I could take it off because I want to change it, be able to change it for the seasons. But... I'm not a bow tie or anything, so yeah, it it doesn't matter. No one sees but me anyway, or my kids, my family. And then I finished this. I like I said, I got box Walmart. Whoops, can't tip it out. I just got all this other stuff in there, just kind of the filler for right now. But I've got mm, four more pillows that I'm in the process of making. And I did the same thing. It's got a piece of sheet metal on the back, a magnet on there, and it just sticks on there. And I'll change it out for every season. Fun, fun. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some works, some whips I have. These are like really, really old whips. Um. Okay, so I bought this. I've said it before. I will probably say it again and again and again and again. I hate kits. I hate kits. I I guess I just to me it's just easier to pick my own fabric, pick my own floss. Not that I change the colors, because I usually don't, but sometimes the floss that comes with the kits are, they're not DMC, and they have these really weird numbers on them, and anyway. So I got this chart, because I like the chart, and I still like the chart, and I still really want to finish this, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't like, this is what I'm doing, it's cute, I love it. It's called, I think, Mason Jar Lineup. And, and I like it, and I want to finish it. But the fabric that came with it, it's called, I used the recommended fabric. It's the fabric that came with the kit. It's DMC 14 count, which is what I use. No big deal. This is how far I've gotten on it. Got that far, and I'm done. I don't know. I really want to finish it, but this fabric is so stiff, and... Maybe I should have rinsed it out to see if I can get some of the the stiffening stuff, I don't know, sizing stuff or whatever off. But I thought, well, maybe, because a lot of times you do it, but once you start sewing, then it kind of relaxes and stuff. This is not relaxing. It is just stiffer than a board. So, I don't know. I really want to finish it. But, and I wound all the floss onto these. I just cut pieces of cardstock and wrote the numbers on them, but it, I don't know. I got tired of messing with it, and I'll pull it out. This is one that will get finished. I just don't know when, but I will finish it. Um, the other one, oh, this one, this one is old. No, no, let's see, where is it? It's right here. This one is old, old. I, I bought the chart right I bought the kit right when it came out, 2014, or 2004, I think is what it said. Uh, it said it was, bought the, oh, 2005. Bought it, Jan Lynn, liked it at the time, started on it, became bored with it. Quickly bored with it. And I usually, I usually finish everything, so, it, I mean, really, I... This is really unusual for me not to finish something, but I just started on it, and I don't know, don't like it. I mean, it's cute, but it's just not my style. I think at the time maybe it was my style, but not anymore. So this is probably one that I probably will never finish. I should just pull out the floss and put it with the, you know, put my bobbins, because it did come with 
um, DMC floss, and I did wind them onto bobbins, but maybe I'll just pull them out, put them with my DMC stash, and somebody wants to finish it when I die, they can finish it when I die. <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those probably never, never finished whips that I will do, that I will have. Um, my next one is <clears throat> also Jen Lynn. <clears throat> this one's cute. Eh, it's cute. It's just I I bought all four kits. There's these are the spring sampler. There's spring sampler, summer sampler, autumn sampler, and winter sampler. And I bought all four kits. <clears throat> I am using the Colford DMC. The well, looks like I pulled. Because they're on plastic bobbins, so that means I pulled them from my my DMC stash. And so who knows what happened to the threads that were in it? It is DMC though. I do have a bag, a gallon zip like Ziploc bag, full of floss out of kits. It's all DMC floss, and I thought, well, maybe I'll go through it, separate it, roll it onto the bobbins. Not gonna happen. So this would be one of those things that maybe somebody will post on on floss tube saying, hey, look what I bought at the thrift store and hold up this great big bag of DMC floss that came out of kits. Because maybe I'll just send thrift stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it away to somebody. I don't know. See who wants it. But anyway, so I'm just about done. I have everything done except for this little piece right here. That's it. I am three quarters of the way done and I lost interest. Anyway, so, I don't know, maybe for 2018, I'll make it my goal to finish this. Even if I put in the last stitch in on December 31st, 2018, I think I'm going to get this one done. It, it, it actually is really cute. It's almost full coverage. Um, it, I used the call for fabrics, fabric that came with the kit. Yeah, it's um, 14 count, Ada, I don't know. I don't even know what color. I'm not going to look it up. I don't care. See, as you can see, all I have is that little spot left. And I, because I started, I started in the center and I worked up, started in the center, worked up, did all this, then kind of come down like this and then over. That's how I've done it. Anyway, I, I don't know. I really want to do the other ones. But, I need to get this one done first. So that's my goal. You're hearing it here. You can hold me accountable. If I don't have it done by December 31st, 2018, I don't know. I'm going to get it done. The other one is not a very old one. I started it about a year ago um, with the full intentions. I don't even know it's a kit again. So I'm like, oh, they're all kits. I tell you, I don't like kits. The other one, um, I don't know where I got the kit. I just happened to be going through some stuff and I found it and I'm like, oh, that'd be kind of cute in my bathroom. Um, cause you know, we were, we remodeled and I thought, oh, it'd, be, it'd match my bathroom. Cute. I think I'm going to do it. It's a dimensions kit. It's got the weird numbers again. Shouldn't have started it. Should have just gave it away. There it is. It's cute, but oh my gosh, all these blues. They're all like almost the same color and they've got the weird numbers so it's hard to know which, I don't know, it's just hard to figure it out. A lot of it is half, up in here is half stitches, down here is half stitches, um, with some other stitches thrown in and then there's this back stitching here with the writing and which I don't think I'm even going to do. I'll, I'll do this because I've started it. but. Anyway, it came with fabric that was pre-printed, and this right here was all printed on it. So I am using the call for fabric. I didn't even make working copies. I am quick clips. I am highlighting on my pattern. <laughs> because it's not like I could pass it. It doesn't have the MC conversion, so it's not like I can pass it on to somebody. So here's what I've got. So I have the S and H to finish. I've got to fill in right here and just finish right here oh and the starfish 
He, I have started on him. He's, they, it's just white, so you can't really see it. So I really don't have that much left to do on it. So I'll, I'll, this is one I'll finish. I don't want to do it. But I decided I don't want it in my bathroom now. Just decided I don't want it in there. But it's gonna have to be one of those things when I, I have to be in the mood, in the mood to finish it. But I'll finish it one of these days. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Let's we'll see what happens. Okay, and this is my last whip I have that <clears throat> doesn't get worked on very often. I love it. I want to finish it. This is my. This is the biggest thing I've ever done. Um, will probably be the biggest thing I will ever do. Um, it has 16 pages in the pattern. In in the pattern, in the chart, and it is full coverage. So it is. It's it's a big thing. It's a big deal. Couple of problems because I don't stitch on anything but Ada. I chose to do it on 14 count Ada and. I, Maybe I should have done it on 18 count Ada. Um, I don't know because it's 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 a beast. I'm telling you, it's a beast. But um, it's it's by Mystic Stitch. That's called Caretaker. Is that right? Yeah, Caretaker. I love it. It is so beautiful. And I originally started this to make for my then husband, he's now my ex-husband, so glad I didn't finish it for him because I would have been mad if he would have kept it in the divorce because it, I've had so much work. I mean, it is a lot of work. So I think what I'm going to do is I will finish it. I want to finish it. It's not, it's not, and it's not that I don't um, enjoy working on it because I actually kind of do enjoy working on it. But because it, I did it on because I chose to do it on 14 count, it's a huge piece of fabric. Um, finished is I'm reading on the, the chart. It actually says if you do it on 14 count, the finished size is 18 by 22, roughly, approximately. That's just the finished. So I've got a huge um, edge on on it, so I cut my fabric really big because I I wanted I didn't want to all the stitch into it and then find out I only have just this much on the edges, so I cut it big. So this is it. So this is the fabric. So this is it's huge. It's going to be a big piece, and I think it is big. But I think what I'm going to do is professionally frame it when I go to frame it. Because it is, it is a, it will be kind of a special piece because it is my biggest piece. It's, it's gorgeous. I mean, it really, really is gorgeous. You do. I, you can see I've missed a couple of stitches up in here. I've done two pages. This right here is the third page. So I'm, you, as you can see, I'm just about done with it. Well. I should say just about done with it because there is a lot of confetti stitching in there. This it's it's probably 75% confetti stitching, if not more. Anyway, there's no back stitching on this all, so all the stitching makes the picture. Um, my problem with this one, this is my problem with it, is it's because it's so big and I sew in a hoop. My hand gets tired when I'm holding it because I have to. So what I do is I roll up my fabric, and I, I I roll it up on all the sides, and I clamp it with um, clamps, I, um, like binder clips kind of thing. Anyway, so, or safety pins. I'll even pin it, and I know probably some are going, some people are going to gasping, going, no, 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 don't put safety pins. But I gotta have something that holds it, and I do take it out. I do take everything out, take the pins off, take the hoop off everything when I'm not stitching. But there's so much fabric to hold that it cramps my hands. So if you have any ideas, I leave, please leave them in the comments because I do want to finish this and I do want to finish it before I'm 90. 
And I, I actually, if I had an easier way to do this, I would probably work on it more so I could get it done. Um, cause it is, it's so, it's, I love, it's just amazing. I'm loving how it's just finally, I'm finally getting something from it. And, um, so my thoughts, and you can please leave in the comments and tell me what you think. I was thinking getting some Q-snaps and putting it in Q-snaps and then I could put a grime guard around it and tuck the extra fabric into it. Then I was thinking about buying a lap stand that I can sit on my lap. I know they have those ones that go into your legs. I would probably just sit it on my lap. And the reason I would probably do that is because to make it up, because I have to kind of stitch close because of my eyes. A lot of times um, I'll actually pull my glasses off and so I can stitch close. But then when I do that, then I can't watch the TV because I can't see it. But, so I was thinking about getting me a lap, lap stand that could hold the Q-snap. The and then that way I won't have to hold it and my hand won't get tired and then I can, it would probably go, it's actually not, it's actually, it's going fast when I sit down and stitch, the, the, the little time that I do sit down and stitch with it. Sometimes I'll pull it out for an evening and I'll stitch two or three hours. And it actually is going pretty fast in that way. And I've actually learned some things. I didn't grit it. I didn't know what gritting was when I started it. So if I was to do it again, I would grit it. But I'm not going to do it again because if I don't finish this, I'm never going to do it again. I'm not starting it again. But So I didn't grit it. But I kind of grit it on my pattern because I'll take the 10 by 10 squares and I'll take a highlighter and highlight maybe 5, five by 5. And then I take yellow highlighter and say I'm going to do all the, it has tons of symbols, I'm telling you. So say I'm going to do the, the symbol H. So I'll go through with a yellow highlighter in that 5x5 five five square section and I'll highlight all the H's. And then I'll go back and as I'm stitching it, I'll take a pink highlighter or blue or whatever, a different color. Um other than yellow and I'll mark it off as I stitch them and then that way that seems to be so I'm kind of doing my own way of gritting it I guess I just didn't grit on the fabric and but anyway but if you have any any ideas of how to hold it it would be great because this I do want to get this finished and I'd like to get it finished in the next few years and get it framed so, um, yeah, that, and I'm enjoying it. It's just my hands get so tired. So anyway, I got a few things in the mail since my, this, since I've been off on my four days. This is the Little House Needleworks holiday, hometown holiday series, um, the pet shop. So there's two more that still are coming out. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see how cute it is. Anyway, it's got some dogs and birds in the window. Anyway, if you are stitching this, there's two more that's still coming out in the series, and I think she's going to end the series. That's the chatter that I've heard. If you are stitching this, please tell me how you're stitching it. Because I, 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 am, I want to do this. I want to put it into my rotation because I want to, I want to uh, do this. But tell me how you're doing it. Because I can't decide if I want to do it as one whole piece and put... All of them, I think there, she, there's just, there's 14, or, I don't know, 14 or 15 in the series, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Anyway, but, I know I don't want to do them as ornaments, like they're finished in the picture, I'm not going to do that. But, I can't decide if I want to do it as one big picture, or if I want to do them, um, um, the flat, the flat folds, or however, I don't know what they're called. If I want to finish them up that way, then kind of make my own village and I can put it on my bookshelf or whatever. Or, I don't know. I Or if I'm going to do seven and seven and frame it, I don't know. So, let me know. If you are doing this series, tell me how you're doing it. Please leave it in the comments. Um, quickly, i got five minutes before my phone says, you're done. Homespun Elegance. This is Delivering Autumn. There is I've got Delivering Snow and Delivering Plenty. One's Thanksgiving, one's with Snow. So I, got, so I get this one 
to go with it. It's cute. Little buttons for the wheels. Anyway, the Delivering Plenty has a turkey and the Delivering Snow. I can't remember what it has. But anyway, cute. Um, this one's also by Homespun Elegance. Um, Snowman Button Sampler. I thought he was cute. It's cute. And then the other one, I love this one. Playing with Jacks. <laughs> Cross Eyed Cricket. Love it. It's so cute. But I'm going to put these on my. I think I'm going to get them done before next fall. Anyway, so then I've been going through my, my stash, and I have so many charts in there that are so cute that I have decided I have some stuff coming from 123Stitch. Once it gets here, I'm not buying anything else. Because I've been going through my stash, and there's so. I have some cute charts in there, and I thought, why am I not stitching these? So I pulled out everything to do this one. It's called Winter Blooms by Hands to Work. And it's a little Santa boot with hollies and berries and stars. And I don't know, this picture is really bad. It's really bad. Um, anyway, so, and the picture, I seriously, I think I've seen them, people show finishes that they've done and they're so cute. And this picture is just horrible. So anyway, I have this ready to stitch. And since I'm done with my Lizzie Kate ornaments, this will go into my rotation. And I'm going to start it. The other one is this is the harvest blooms. This one goes with it, and um, stitching between the lines. I've kind of been um, binge watching her videos. I'm completely caught up to two on hers, um, but she, I think she. I was watching. It's like number twenty or nineteen, twenty or twenty one. It's one of those. She showed this done. She did this one, and it is beautiful. It is so pretty, and so. Um, yeah, if you have done these, post them on something. Um, show me. Post them on Stitch Mania or 123 Stitch or whatever it is. Because I would like to see them because these pictures are horrible. But yeah, the one that's stitching between line stitch, it's gorgeous. So anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Um, who knows when I'll be back. Like I said, I'm not having a set schedule when I do these. Um, maybe I'll be back next week. Maybe I'll be back in a couple of weeks. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how my things go. Sometimes my things are, I get so busy and, and, and that, and I don't have time to get on here and I want to get on here more often. So, um, yeah, please leave your comments. Tell me if, what you think of my videos. I want, I would like to know. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your comments. Um, I think out of the videos I've done and all the comments and all the likes I've got, I've got one unlike, one that disliked it, and I don't know. I don't care. If you don't like me, you don't like me. I don't care because I don't. I don't live to please anybody. Just live to please myself. And um, so anyway, yeah. Hopefully this video works without the side, things on the side. <sighs> Keep your fingers crossed. If not, I guess I will be calling my daughter. <laughs> but anyway. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.